Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 50 unexpected Bolos coming your way. Items that you as a reseller should definitely be looking for when you are outsourcing at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, wherever you source, look for these Bolo items. They are awesome. Um, so where do I get these Bolo items? Well, these items come from my Facebook group. So what I do is I search high and low for auctions, Bolo items that have a lot of bids, and I share them in my Facebook group. Well, those auctions end, and a lot of times I forget to go back and look and see what they actually sold for. So what I have done is I have chosen 50 of those, and I'm going to share them in this video, and it's going to help me remember, and hopefully you remember when we are outsourcing so that we can find some of these bolo items. All right, let's get started. Uh, first off, I'm going to show you my Facebook group. And I actually have two of them. Uh, the links to both are down in the description of the video. But this one right here is um, more general. You can um, put anything reseller related in this group. The other group is just where I post bolo items. So if you don't want all of the chit chat from um, other people and you just want to see the bolos, join my other one. Um, and again, links are down below for both, or you could join both and get double the content, but it's Bolo, Bolo, Bolos. That's what I talk about. That's what I love. I love learning, but um, Bolo Buddies, Resellers, Thrifters, Unite, eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Etsy. It, um, it covers pretty much any reselling platform. So um, I just did a video on um, how to cross post from eBay to Facebook using List Perfectly. So um, definitely adding Facebook as a platform that I sell on. So you're going to see me talk about that from time to time. And I'm going to keep you guys posted on how that goes. Here, let me pull this up full screen. But anyway, if you want to see that video, it is it's one of my videos. I guess just uh, search Facebook. Maybe in the title, I think, would probably be the best way to find it because I don't have a lot of videos that say Facebook in the title. But anyway, if you would like to try List Perfectly, you can use referral coupon code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word. That'll get you 30% off your first month. And I know I have a video linked down in the description that shows you how to cross post using List Perfectly from eBay to Poshmark and Mercari because that I do on a regular basis. But again, I'm throwing in some Facebook. I do have some Etsy and Grailed. Um, if there were more hours in the day, you know. But uh, eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari are my main platforms if you're new to the channel. So feel free to check out that video. If you have questions, you can put it in the comments of that video. And let's get started with some big money. And I do mean big money. Bolo items. All right. The first item is awesome let me make sure we're up here okay so it is a and if you guys are in my facebook group these are going to look familiar to you guys but probably like me you didn't go back to see what the item actually sold for you just clicked on it when you saw it saw that this one i think was at like it was over a thousand dollars i think when i posted it in the facebook group but the auction ended at two thousand one hundred ninety three dollars uh, with 71 bids, which is crazy. So it's a vintage Sony Walkman. Um, the graphic on the front is super, super cool, but it's new old stock. Very cool item. I, I don't know, like, that's a lot of money, in my opinion, for an old Walkman. But, you know, people collect. So definitely be on the lookout for vintage Walkmans. Most of them are not going to bring you guys $2,000, but they definitely are a bolo item, something you should be looking for. The next item is this um, Edgefield Pottery Jar. So you guys, I don't know much about this. Uh, there is a guy in the group, his name is Eddie, and he knows a lot about these types of things. If you want to know more, you can check out his Facebook group. It is uh, Resellers research something. I can't remember the exact title, but it's resellers research. And, um, actually, you know what? I can tell you how to find it. Search my YouTube channel for Hodge Podge because I have featured his store so many times because he is a major Bolo finder, 
but you can search that and then I have it linked in the description of that video. But he is really, really knowledgeable on these types of uh, pottery, stoneware type jugs. Um, but anyway, I think he might have sent me this one to share, actually, because sometimes he'll see them and be like, you should share this. So this one sold for $1,050. Yeah, I don't, I didn't think it was his. Um, so yeah, big money in some of those, big money. All right, the next item is this pink telephone. So um, these vintage telephones with the uh, rotary dial can definitely be a bolo item. People like the pink, they like the teal, like, they like the cute colors. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Um, if you see one, just look up comps, see what they're going for. Make sure you don't overpay. That's with anything you see in these videos. Make sure you are checking comps. Just because you saw it here, somebody may have gotten lucky and had two people that were bidding against each other because they really wanted the item. And maybe it's not always a bolo. So always, always, always check your comps. But if it's like a dollar, I, I just go with grab and go you're going to make your money back if you only pay a dollar. So I, I can't believe how much they took this phone apart. That is crazy. So this sold auction style for a hundred dollars, a hundred and hundred dollars and 44 cents with 49 bids plus shipping. The next item that sold is this gunny. Is that how, or gen, gunny? I think it's gunny sacks, right? Gunny. Oh my goodness, I'm probably saying it wrong. I think it's vintage gunny sacks. And actually a gal from my Facebook group and a friend, her name's Leah, had this one listed. And somebody got a good deal because I will tell you, some of these can go for big money. Um, you can see it's got some flocked material there on the side, but this sold for $119.50. And I thought it was gonna go for much more. I mean, you can tell by the tags that the item is like new without tags for sure. It's never been washed. It doesn't look worn. Just a beautiful, beautiful dress. And she also had this one, which is amazing. Also, it went for a little more at $180.49. Again, somebody got a steal of a deal. And she actually has a picture of somebody wearing the dress. How cool is that? That is cool. So, um, she said the dress was used for this photo, then stored in a box. So she's got like the actual photo with the woman wearing the dress. That is so cool. Um, anyway, $180 and 49 cents, 14 bids, buyer paid shipping. So definitely be on the lookout for that brand. Uh, this Coleman lantern, uh, I do believe this may have been a group member that sent me this one. Um, what I invite you guys to do if you are in my Facebook group and you have an auction that has a lot of bids, you are welcome to send me a private message with the link and I will share that link for you. That helps people in the group learn and it also gets eyes on your item. So this lantern sold for $77 with 17 bids and the buyer paid the shipping. And again, same thing with lanterns. They're kind of all over the place. Definitely do your research, check the comps, look up the model number. Those are great ways to figure out if it's a bolo item or not. This vintage 1990s boys to men wrap t-shirt went for $675, you guys. So vintage concert tees are just definitely a bolo single stitch. It's a rare, rare shirt and it went for $675 plus shipping. Super cool. The next item that sold is this Rushton Company doll. So these rubber face dolls are darling. This one is darling. I, I'm not sure if I would have had it out in the mud and in the dirt, but it, it is quite cute. Um, it sold for $820 with 45 bids and the buyer did give free shipping, but this little girl is in mint condition from the photos. Well, near mint. They said near mint, but I think she looks really, really good. So Rushton is definitely a bolo. Definitely be on the lookout for those rubber face Rushton dolls. The next item that sold are these vintage Essence magazines from the 1980s and the 1990s. And there were 17 of them and they sold for $232.50, you guys. 
with 80 bids and free shipping on those, which um, magazines I do not think can go media mail because they have advertisements. So this would have had to have been shipped priority mail or uh, parcel post or something like that. The next item that sold is this awesome antique German crow die cut. So vintage Halloween is most definitely a bolo item. Whenever I see it, when I'm lucky enough to see it, I definitely scoop it up. This guy sold for $311, 32 bids, free shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage sterling silver loaded charm bracelet. So I featured um, a member in a video and somebody was like, oh, they should have sold the charm separate. And that's why this item caught my eye. It was like, oh my gosh, this bracelet is loaded with charms. And I wonder if the person would have listed those charms separately if they would have made more. It seems like it went pretty cheap in my opinion, but I don't know. It's 81 grams, 50 charms. So $195.50. So let's say there's 50 charms. If each charm went for $10 or even $8, I mean, I don't know what the charms are. Maybe they're not even worth $10. I don't know. What do you guys think about this charm bracelet? Would you have uh, parted it out or sold it as a lot or in a, as a bracelet like this? That is a lot of charms. I don't know what I would have done. I think I would have listed it at a buy it now much higher. Okay. This vintage, uh, it's a little like a uh, jewelry mini box. It's adorable. And this sold for $157.50. So uh, I think it's Sanrio. Also uh, does the Hello Kitty brand. So maybe that's why this is so popular. Maybe it's the brand. It's from 1991, but $157.50 for this with free shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage dinosaur. So I am always on the lookout for dinosaurs. They are a great bread and butter item, but some of them can also sell for big money. This one is a vintage Marks. Uh, one recommendation I would have for this seller, not that they're asking, but I would definitely take a picture of the brand. So usually on the bottom of the dinosaur, it will have um, a marking or something on it with a date or a mark. Um, I always include a picture of that with the toys that I'm selling, not just dinosaurs, but any toy. And you can see here, there's two photos. So that's what I would say. That's my advice to you guys watching that if you have a toy, take a picture of the brand and the date. Um, this one sold for $41.75 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage McCoy pottery duck. It's a planter, you guys. So it holds a plant. It's darling. Very cute. I've never seen one like it. It looks a little scary to ship to me, but this guy went for $212.50 and the buyer um, got free shipping on that as well. So it looks like the umbrella does come out. So that is good. That might make it a little bit easier to ship if they can take that top piece off the umbrella and bubble wrap it real good. That would make me feel a little better. This one is crazy. It's a antique German Santa sleigh. If only we could find one of these once a week, right? This sold for $2,550 or once a year. That would even be good. It's a German antique pole toy. So super, super cool. And definitely a big money bolo right there. The next item that sold is this Nintendo Power Magazine first issue. Um, it is vintage. It's old. And this one sold for $145. Buyer, um, the seller paid the shipping. So free shipping for the buyer. And I know I did a featured seller video. Gosh, it's been a long time ago. But one of the gals that I featured sold a couple of these for big money. So they are definitely a bolo. And that was over a year ago. So they must still be doing pretty well. All right. This sassy magazine from 1988. It is a teen magazine swimwear edition with Debbie Gibson. And um, I don't know if it's Debbie Gibson selling it or 
I don't know why this is special, but it went for $124.50 with 43 bids. So I guess if you find magazines, maybe look through them for like famous people and put that in your title. I don't know. This one did well, $124.50 plus shipping on that one. The next item that sold are these Superpowers lot of four figures. And these only went for $52, but hey, $52 for some action figures, I would take those uh, margins, especially if I paid like a buck or two for them. So uh, definitely something to be on the lookout for. Could the seller have parted these out and gotten more money? Maybe, maybe not. The next item is this He-Man Masters of the Universe Vintage 80s Toys. You guys, check out what the winning bid was. $852.52. So some of these guys must be rare and hard to find. Super cool, um, really cool bolo item. And again, I don't know if the seller would have done better parting these out or if they did amazing leaving them as a lot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. The next item is this vintage Lego classic space galaxy Explorer. You guys, this is from 1979. Ah, that is crazy. And look, it, I mean, it looks to be almost complete if not complete. So super, super cool Bolo right there. That sold for $150 with 69 bids and the buyer paid shipping. So uh, pretty cool. The next item that sold is this Remco Universal Monsters Vintage Lot. And it's got Wolfman, Dracula, Frankenstein, and the Mummy. And it's the set of four. And they went for $676, you guys. Uh, the buyer uh, did get free shipping. So. The next item that sold is this vintage Napco five piece spaghetti Santa sleigh planter. So this is darling. Um, when you see spaghetti, that is, see that like curly looking, um, let me see if I can, along the edge of the sleigh. I think that's what they call spaghetti. And it's up around um, the saddle area of the reindeer right there. That's what they're calling spaghetti. So that is a keyword that people search and this sold for $317 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Marilyn Manson shirt and definitely, definitely a unique different shirt. I've not seen that one before. It sold for $355 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this rust oleum, and I'm pretty sure this has to ship ground, but um, this can definitely be a bolo item. Uh, this one, it says stops rust, um, $295. It is coral pink. So what happens is some of these colors get discontinued and people need them and they are willing to pay up. So let's see, let's look at the bid history here on this one. And it looks like there were six unique bidders. So six people needed this rare color of paint, apparently. I don't know, 30 bids. Um, we can go in, I can show you how to look it up. Uh, let's see. I'm, oh, looky here, you guys. Right there. It was a good sale. Always good to deal with. Vintage Rust-Oleum, $295. So when you guys are sitting there saying, no way, it's money laundering, I don't know. They got positive feedback. So um, I don't know. It seems like a legit seller. I, I think um, with 8,209 um, feedback, it's a legit sale. And also eBay watches that stuff and they get on to, uh, what do you call it? suspicious activity pretty quickly. Um, you're probably not going to see a seller with 8,209 feedback doing something they shouldn't be doing. And they've been a member since 98. So that's a legit sale, you guys. I'm going to say legit, positive feedback, $295 for the Rust-Oleum paint. 
All right, the next item is this Pokemon Original Authentic Nintendo Game Boy game. So for $336 plus shipping. The next item is this Vintage Griswold Skillet Cover. Okay, guys, so this is just the lid. So if you ever come across just the lid, don't count it out just because it's only a lid. This lid sold for $415 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage 1950s Rushton. It is, again, one of the rubber face, and it sold for $455 plus shipping. And you guys can see, like, it's not anywhere near the condition as that of that first one I showed you. The first one was, like, mint, and it still went for $455. The next item that sold is this Polly Pocket Vintage Lot, and I want to say that this belonged to a member of my Bolo Buddies Facebook. Nope. Mm, I don't think it's this one. I think it's another Polly Pocket that I have. Or it could be this one. I don't know. I think there were two. Anyway, Polly Pocket can be a big money bolo. This went for $820 with 47 bids and the buyer paid shipping. So definitely some big money there. Uh, I don't know if they would have made more parting it out. $820 seems like they did really, really well. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. The next item are these vintage 30 piece Barbie shoes, open toe heels in excellent condition. These sold for $119.50. Now, um, I know that the Made in Japan ones typically can be a bolo, bread and butter typically, but it does add up. Like that one's broke. I don't know, $119.50. So somebody could tell by the photos. Um, maybe these are the older ones from the 50s and 60s. Not sure. The next item, this belonged to a member of the Facebook group. And they shared this. And I believe they picked it up at an estate sale. And it sold for $127.50. And the buyer paid the shipping. So really, really cool. And they show you here. So a little flyer that goes with it. The next item is this vintage Polly Pocket again. This may have been the group member. I don't know. I'm getting confused. But a couple of these came from group members. So uh, look how cute they are, the little Polly Pockets. So this went for $222.50. And these little guys are really, really, really small. Um, really small. It's hard to tell by the picture, but I don't think I've ever seen the pets. Those are cool. All right. The next item that sold are these vintage Cutco knives, um, pre-owned, very good condition, sold for $325 plus shipping. Uh, you guys, Cutco is definitely a Bolo brand to be on the lookout for when it comes to, um, silverware and knives and stuff like that cut co so definitely be on the lookout uh, i was trying to see where there it is it's right there on the blade cut co made in the usa definitely vintage the next item that sold is this early antique primitive four prong fish or eel spear i would have got that and i would have been like what is this thing i have no idea but somebody knew and this thing sold for $405, you guys, plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Barbie one-piece jumpsuit. Barbie stuff can definitely be a bolo. This is the tag that you're looking for, you guys. This is um, one of the older tags, and these cl clothing items can go for big money, or they can be bread and butter, but that is the tag that you want to find. This outfit sold for $87 with free shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage My Little Pony and it's Parrot Gem Eyes. So my husband just came home um, yesterday with a My Little Pony carry case full of My Little Ponies. Um, I don't think that there's any big money ones in there, but they are definitely um, older from the 80s. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to look them up and we've got to get them cleaned up and they will be listed eventually. But this one sold for $255 plus shipping and I didn't have her. 
The next item is this Los Angeles Kings hat. And this went for $405. So pretty crazy. Um, in my Facebook group, I posted this and there were a lot of comments uh, saying, I forget who it was. Um, oh, the LA Kings, I think is who it was, that they all wore this hat. I think they're rappers. Oh, don't quote me on that. But um, yeah. So that makes this hat more sought after, more valuable because the rappers wore it. So people want it. That's how I understand it. Because I'm like, why is this hat going for so much? I don't understand. All right. The next item is this vintage handmade quilt. And it is a uh, friendship ring. So I guess that's probably this pattern, friendship ring. But this sold for $275 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is the Superstar Era Barbie Golden Dream Christie doll. I have sold Christie a few times. She is most definitely a bolo item, so definitely be on the lookout for her. This doll sold for $366 plus shipping. The next item is another Polly Pocket lot, and this lot only went for $132.50, which I'm surprised because there are a lot of Polly Pockets down there and some really neat uh, cases. So um, sometimes auction is not always the best way to go. Uh, in this video, I'm showing you auctions because that's how I research. I research the auction, um, the auctions. All right, this is a vintage uh, Peyo, I think it's, I don't know how you say it, P-E-Y-O, Schley Smurfs. And these are from the 60s, the late 60s. And they can be a bolo. These sold for $153.50 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this WWF shirt, Stone Cold, and it sold for $395. That's crazy, plus shipping. The next item that sold is this rare 1977 orange hair Luke Skywalker vintage Kenner doll. So it's really old. And it sold for $2,077.05. And let's go in. And let me see here. I was going to see if they um, had feedback. Let's just type rare. Um, nope, but they've got some ape space astronaut and alien space astronaut that went for... 149. So this guy, whoever this is, might as well show you another bolo here. Yeah, I've never seen him before. Interesting. Wow. $149. All right. The next item is this vintage dotted Swiss flock tulips pink sheer fabric. Very, very pretty. Sold for $122.50. And yeah, flocked material can definitely do well. Here's another My Little Pony. She's called Sweet Blossom. She's vintage from 1984, and she went for $72 plus shipping. And she looks to be in really nice condition. The next item is this vintage 1960s Chicago Cubs bobblehead made in Japan. Um, I typically pick up just about anything made in Japan. I love selling made in Japan items. I have a whole bolo category video on made in Japan. So definitely go check that out. But this guy sold for $340 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage 1950s Herbert Johnson for Brooks Brothers hat. It's a men's hat. And there's what the inside looks like. And it sold for $142.50. And the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is this Polly Pocket Vintage Starlight Castle. So this is just one Polly Pocket, you guys. And it's complete. It has everything that it's supposed to have in it, all the little characters. This one item went for $104.50. So when you see those big bids on those big lots, that's why. Because some people are going to sell them individually and make money off of those bigger lots. Now... Not all of them are big money. Some of them are just bread and butter, and it does help if you have the figures that go with them. 
The next item that sold is this Cruiser 1968 Vintage Hot Wheels Red Line. So right here on the wheels, that is what a red line is. So if you see those, you definitely want to scoop those up. Those are typically a bread and butter and can be big money bolos. So definitely worth the purchase. This sold for $155 plus shipping. The next item I don't understand, but it's a 50s or 60s Mark's White Gorilla Yeti. It's battery operated and he is interesting. I just cannot believe that it went for over a thousand dollars you guys one thousand seventy five dollars sixty four bids fifteen shipping all right let's look at this i want to see if they paid so we'll put marks Right there, you guys. Feedback. The item is perfect. It's a good sale. It's a good sale. They sold it for $1,075. Got their feedback. That is awesome. The next item is this scream mask. Now, these scream masks are all over the place. They range from bread and butter to big, big money. Uh, this one went for $137.50, and the buyer paid the shipping. So you definitely want to look for um, the markings on the underneath side of the chin. This is similar to the one that I sold. Um, I think mine went for 150 over on Mercari, but it had, I believe, the same marking here. But mine was glow in the dark. I don't know if theirs was glow in the dark. They probably did not think to check, but I'll, um, I've sold two that have been glow in the dark. The next item that sold is this Boyd's Bears Mini Plush. It sold for $150 with 21 bids plus shipping. Certain Boyd's Bears are trending right now. I encourage you to go over to my um, channel and search Boyd's Bears. And there is a video out that I did that I show you exactly which ones are trending. I can't tell you why. I don't know what's going on. But um, I, I haven't checked like in the last couple weeks to see if they're still trending, but they were trending big time. So definitely go check out that video. And that's 50 unexpected bolos, bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. All right, you guys, thanks for being here and thanks for watching.